G'day and welcome back to G'day Kitchen. Today I will be making a beautiful summer favourite dish of mine which is a, a Greek octopus. Um, it's basic ingredients, fresh ingredients and very good on the palate. So I'm going to introduce you to my ingredients. Some Eureka lemons, some fresh garden thyme, Spanish garlic, Lebanese cucumbers, continental or flat parsley, sea salt, and some red wine vinegar, and of course, some Colavita, good quality olive oil, and our lovely Eastern Australian octopus, which come from a warmer water. Uh, they're beautiful, awesome. Righto, what we need to do first is put our beautiful octopus in a pot, and I'd say a five liter pot will be will be fine. Now, because octopus has a lot of water in it, you don't have to put too much water in the actual pot. I'd say a litre and a half to two litres, just so you can cover it. And then we add our three tablespoons of salt, sea salt, and of course half a cup of red wine vinegar. Now that should help tenderise the octopus. Lid goes on, and we bring that to the boil for 15 minutes, and then we simmer it for a further hour. Okay, here we are 15 minutes later. And it curls up the octopus, so don't be dis disalarmed with it. So you can turn it over as so. And all we need to do is put the lid back on and bring the temperature down and cook it for a further hour. Okay, so now I'm gonna prepare my four main ingredients, which are the Mediterranean ingredients, parsley, garlic, thyme, and some lemon. time Okay, here we are half an hour later. And I'm just gonna turn the octopus over. And you can see it's all shrunk quite dramatically. So they can go back in there now for another half an hour. Now, after an hour, and I have put it off, and the octopus is nice and tender. Beautiful. So all I need to do now is uh, strain that, let it cool, cool down for a little bit, and then we can start frying it. Our next step is to cut the oct octopus tentacles into strips. Our next step is to lightly fry these and get them all nice and crispy. Uh, we need some nice, good quality extra virgin olive oil. And that can go on the bottom of the pan, just to cover the pan. And all we need to do then is add our garlic. We put half the time now and the other time after. So all we need to do now 
pretty simple. And then what we do now is add a little bit more olive oil over the top. And it's okay to use a little bit of olive oil because it's also part of the dish. So that's on a high heat, blue steel pan. We want to get it nice and crispy on the outside. Oh, they'd be nice and moist on the inside. And now we can incorporate some parsley. And a little bit more thyme. And the lemon juice comes in at last. So what we need to do now is turn the babies over. every couple of minutes to turn them over, just a little bit. If we don't want to burn them, we want them nice and crispy on the outside, just with a nice little crust. Ooh, they're looking good. Okay. Now we can come in with the lemon juice. And we're done. Now we can plate up. smell absolutely beautiful. And a nice drizzle of uh, olive oil, extra virgin. bit of thyme for garnish and of course some nice shredded parsley I hope you enjoyed that's my Greek octopus octopusy